Welcome to Maths and Tricks and today we are going to look at a fixed point method along with an example. Well, in graphical representation we have a few plots for uh, comparison purposes. f of x is the original function and g of x is the modified one and one more plot where f of x function is equal to x. So in the fixed points method we have initial guess which is x not here. For instance, this is any value and find the g of x at x not and draw a horizontal line and extend toward where the x equal to f of x and where you get x1 and find again the g of x at x1 extend once again a horizontal line mark the point you get x3 find the g of x at x3 and extend a horizontal line once more. Mark the point on the line where x equal to f of x. You get x4. Now these are in fact the number of iterations which circling inward until you get closer and closer to the actual root. Now to get this there is a certain criteria where we differentiate g of x with respect to x and then put the initial point to see if it's less than 1. If that's the case the function is ok and if it's greater than 1 or equal to 1 you need to get another form for g of x. Ok, let's see an example. The example is f of x equal to cos x minus x and we put the equation equal to 0. Now to get g of x express the same function in term of x so x equal to cos x and which we also call g of x that's equal to cos x. To get the general equation for iteration is um, x subscript n plus 1 equal to cos x subscript n. In other words x1 will be equal to cos x naught. This is the equation, very critical and important, and it is I mentioned. Now, in order to see if this function g of x converges, you differentiate it with respect to x and then put the initial value into the function and then say f h less than 1. So, this is the equation we need to write in calculator. One thing more that I missed is the initial value given here is pi by 4. So, hold your calculator. Now, write the function for g of x which is cos x and then press calc it asks for value of x enter the initial value that is pi by 4 it gives you the first iteration value which is 0.70710678 and for the next iteration all you have to do is to press calc then unsh and then equal this will give you x2 0.760244597 and for the third iteration and so on you just circle calci uns equal calci uns equal until you get very close to the actual answer here on the 14th iteration we get 0 0.73927 now in order to compare we can also find the exact root and errors. Write the original function in your calculator, press shift key and then calci, which means to solve, and enter any value that is close to your actual root, suppose 0.5. It means it will give me the root which is most close to 0.5, and the most close root to 0.5 is 0 0.739085. I hope you have enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.